I want to ask you a little bit about your your roster. How much did what you perceived as someone that worked for the Saints for the last 20, 20 years almost, you're, you, you've watched this team two times a year and probably evaluated their personnel when, when you were having to make uh, changes in the offseason where you're going to go get a Falcon player that was available, those type of things. How much did your perception of what the Falcon team looked like actually was reality to you when you began to break the team down in depthly as the Falcon general manager? Yeah, that's a good question because there, I would say the only level that I had of information, I basically have the information we had on these players from college when we were able to, and then I have the information, I have the film evaluation. So I had strong opinions on the players, and yet when you get in the building, there are other factors that play a part into the end result. For example, you can have a player that has, it can be whether it was an injury or whether it was um, a player that the school he was from, or there's different information so that you can say, okay, this is where this player is at this time, but there can be continued growth because of these factors. And when you really learn about the main information that you get is, hey, what's his makeup right now? Outside of what we knew from college and outside of what you see on the field, what is this player in the building, in the equipment room, in the locker room, in the training room, in the community? And getting around everyone in the building and learning who these players are, that obviously plays a major part in it. So the film is the film and that's what you see, but now really understanding and learning who these players really are as human beings, that, that's, that plays a huge part um, in, in the evaluation. And I know you're doing a lot of things at the same time, whether it's starting to garner information about college kids, free agents, and what might be available and what you guys can potentially go after. You're trying to trim your own roster, get your roster in position. That's where I wanted to take you here, Terry, is how difficult, not difficult, it's the wrong word, how challenging has it been to kind of shape or figure out your roster from the evaluation process? Because I know you've been diving in, you've been looking at tapes, all those type of things in your current roster. Yeah, that, that's another thing that's been really interesting because you have a certain perception of, of a player as you assess them when, when you're in another building and you evaluate those players and you have to film. That's all you have to evaluate the players. But then being in this building, you get all the other levels of information on those players and that helps you shape your ultimate opinion. And that's another thing that it's having coaches from a lot of different places, having scouts from a lot of different places, we're able to get all the different opinions and, and, and all the different perceptions from where they were in, as we're gathering this information. So it's, it's been really good going through that process and again, dropping our egos and listening to everyone and getting everyone's opinion on the players as we move forward. That's been a really good part of the process.